You feel him? Okay. Hello, everybody. Marcos Vegas for the Boxing Channel, standing here with Robert the Ghost Guerrero, who takes on Andre Berto November 24th at the Citizens Business Bank Arena. Robert, I know for quite some time you've been looking for a big marquee matchup. It's finally here. You got Andre Berto. Give me your thoughts on, on Andre Berto as an opponent and how the, the months leading up to this matchup have been for you. Um, well, for one, you know, Andre Berto, he's a good fighter, um, you know, world champion, fast, hard hitting. You know, very slick in the ring. Uh, you know, he comes to fight every time. I, everybody knows uh, he's he's very game uh, fighter. And uh, if you don't take him serious, he'll take you out. So uh, you know, we got to be 100% ready for him. And uh, you know, preparing all the time. You know, the leading up to uh, till now. Uh, you know, I've always stayed in shape. Uh, you know, right after the Dean fight, uh, you know, took a week or two off and got right back on it. Uh, so, um, you know, I'm always ready to go. I'm excited that uh, we got this fight. And, uh, you know, like I was telling you guys before, I wanted to have another fight by the end of the year, and it's here. Yeah. And it's good to see, too, that you've been staying busy as well, though. You didn't know who the opponent would be. Did that affect game plan at all uh, coming into this bout? I know there's a, it kind of appeared out of nowhere, this matchup with Berto. Does that affect how you fight him in the ring, given the short time frame? No, not at all. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, having my father by my side, uh, you know, he's a master, he's a mastermind in the corner. So, uh, you know, he makes the plans, and, and uh, you know, we, he does all the film study, me and him, and then we just, uh, you know, set what we got to do. But the one nice thing is, uh, you know, coming up in my career, I've had the fights that I've needed uh, to to be where I'm at. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, uh, you know, were taken care of, and uh, you know, they put them in with the fights that they knew they were going to win. You know, I had a. Uh, I had the opposition in front of me that was going to push me to the limit and make me learn and, and throughout my career that, that's what I got so you know all that it prepares you for when you're at that championship level and whatever style you get in with you're going to be ready for. So what he brings to the table you feel that in your career so far you've seen what he can bring and you can adapt and, and you don't have anything really to worry about because you've seen that before you've experienced it before. Oh yeah, uh, you know, I've experienced uh, so many different styles and, uh, you know, myself being able to fight so many different styles. Um, you know, it's, uh, that's the one thing is seeing all these styles out there, uh, you know, being able to adapt to them and be prepared as you've seen it. Uh, you know, every time I fight, you see a whole different Robert Guerrero and, and people get shocked because they think they're going to see one thing and they see something else. Looking at you as well, you you're very reserved, very uh, well-spoken, but lately uh, you've been a, a bit more outspoken, kind of stirring the pot a bit with a few other fighters like Adrian Broner and Timothy Bradley. Where does that all stem from? I'm not used to seeing that from you. Well, you know, being a nice guy don't get you anywhere. You know, I've always been the respectful guy and just let it go. And, and, and um, you know, I always believed in winning fights uh, that are going to get you there. You know, beating guys and getting into mandatory spots. Um, you get the fight. You know, it's happened through all the weight classes I've been through. You know, been the nice guy. I've got in the position to be, to be mandatory and do, uh, you know, get ready for, uh, uh, you know, the top guns at the weight class. And, uh, you know, by being quiet, it never got me the fight. So uh, now it's time to open up and, and speak out and speak my mind and let everybody know that I'm here to fight and I ain't playing around. It stemmed from frustration of not getting bouts. Tell me, you know, how have you been dealing with that frustration just throughout? Because for a long time, you've been wanting matchups with these big names and, and welterweight and junior welterweight as well. Um, you know, it's been frustrating throughout my career, uh, you know, being in mandatory positions and not getting the fights. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's one of the things uh, you just got to put up with, I guess. Uh, you know, but, you know, you put God first, everything's going to be all right. You keep on trucking and, uh, you know, and, and you'll get there. And that, that's what I've been doing is just kept on trucking and get until uh, I get there. And, uh, you know, just keep winning. The more you win, the better it is. How close was that Bradley matchup? Was it pretty close to being signed? I know you pushed for it, and I saw your tweets over Twitter, and immediately you had a lot of fans backing you because that was a really great fight to, to make. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it was exciting, man. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty close, but, uh, you know, it didn't happen. Uh, you know, we got the Berto fight. Uh, you know, just as satisfied. Um, I would have loved. To, I would love to fight. Uh, um, I would have loved to fight Bradley. Uh, you know, just, he just came off that win with uh, with Pacquiao, and uh, you know, and being uh, you know having the opportunity to unify the division would have been awesome. But uh, you know, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy with the fight that I got right now. And uh, you know, Berto Berto's the main focus, and uh, you got to be 100 prepared for him because uh, if you're not prepared for him, uh, you get a little sidetracked. He'll take you out. Can't wait for an exciting fight. You and Andre Berto going down November 24th at the Citizens Business Bank Arena. I'm here for the Boxing Channel. Marcos Villegas reporting.